Hi, my name is Ralph Carbone and I'm a docent here at the California Auto Museum. And today I'm going to present uh, one of our very special vehicles um, called a, a, a Carl Benz, which became Mercedes Benz. This is an 1886 model of what's considered the first uh, internal combustion engine automobile, first successful company. And I'll point out a few of the key features or interesting features of the vehicle. Number one is uh, this tiller steering, which existed on on early vehicles before the steering wheel was ever in, even invented. This is the way you had to steer the vehicle. Another feature is this is a, a brake and uh, Berta was actually responsible for creating linings, brake linings, to help uh, stop these vehicles, although they didn't run very fast to start with. Another thing is the, uh, the bicycle wheels. You can see how this came out of the bicycle era and the, the early automobiles were literally a, a hybrid of, of uh, carriages and bicycles. And this is a hard, solid rubber tire, so the, the ride was not very comfortable. Moving around to the engine, this really looks like a steam engine, but it actually is an internal combustion engine considered uh, to run on gas, even though gasoline itself was not recognized as a viable fuel back then. It used to get thrown out as a byproduct. Our uh, pit crew, who's a, a group of, of guys that are very good mechanics, uh, spent a lot of time. The motor is rated at three quarters of a horse, and that's the significance of the horse you see behind us. In that, um, that's that's how motors were; uh, their power was evaluated based on a horse. And this is only three quarters horse, as I mentioned. And top speed on this vehicle is only about four miles an hour. You can walk just about as fast as this car will run. So. Um, the, there's a, there's a, a thousand stories in this museum of all the different vehicles and our docents are, are well versed on many, many, many of those stories. But uh, we really welcome you to the museum and we'd love to hear your story.